the IT industry of India is world, world renowned for its very large scale and not just in size but in deep expertise of computer science. Uh, very few com countries in the world has this natural resource, this amazing natural resource called IT and computer science expertise. In the last couple of years, we've been working together to upskill, and we've now upskilled about 200,000 IT professionals into the world of AI. India has become home, right? Among all the companies across the world, we are our fastest in growing industry is global competency centers. So we do space research in India, we do pharmaceutical research in India. I'm sure that uh, quantum, you're quantum thinking computing. of building chips yep. in India. That's right. We are in our own energy industry, we do bioenergy industry, mm -hmm. all the energy majors, Shell, BP, right, actually do their innovation in India. Mm -hmm. So India is fast becoming an innovation hub for the world in terms of where we are today, apart from the US and China. Right? India has the best digital connectivity infrastructure, 4G, 5G, and broadband in yeah. the world. Yeah. One of the things that, that, that uh, you, you've highlighted is just the immense amount of digital data that's available, um, uh, surely at GEO and in India. And this is, leads, to, leads to one of the things that I want to announce uh, with you. Uh, as you. As you know, in order to lead in artificial intelligence, you need to have uh, AI model technology that uh, India has. You need to have data, massive quantities of data. The last thing you need is uh, AI infrastructure. And uh, uh, we're, we're announcing that, that uh, Reliance and NVIDIA are partnering uh, to build AI infrastructure here in India. So now you, you have the fundamental ingredients, uh, AI, data, and AI infrastructure, uh, and you have a large population of users, that ultimately creates your AI flywheel. We are now ready for big scale-up, so we are building infrastructure, right? And we think big, so we're building infrastructure for one gigawatt, which can be expandable to multiple gigawatts at one location. It is important that we design and build infrastructure so that to use AI, our customers don't have to change a phone, don't have to change their computers, but they can still get good quality AI, and we take the burden of putting that infrastructure together. Yeah. And I think that is what uh, we are counting on you and us to do. The foundry tools that we have, we are looking forward to a development center where we take mm -hmm. core of your tools and train hundreds of thousands of developers in India to use all the enterprise tools, to use the omniverse tools so that we can really apply intelligence in a practical way. And to me, this is just the starting of this intelligence age. Certainly, we would agree that this is an extraordinary time for the world. And this is an extraordinary opportunity for India um, to have precisely the conditions, to have such a large population and large industry of computer scientists. At a time when this industry, the computing industry, is going to become the intelligence industry. Leveraging on everything that you have, leveraging on everything that you know, and your indigenous advantage, enormous amounts of data, a large population of consumers to drive that flywheel of intelligence to data, data to intelligence, intelligence to data, and have the national will to go do something about it. This is such an extraordinary time, and I am honored and privileged to be partnered with you to do this, and let's make it a promise today that we will work together so that India could take advantage of the intelligence revolution that's ahead of us.